doing? I'm Mike Gaddy and welcome to US Event Photos COVID and Events. This week, this week I'm in Santa Clara, California at the Bay Area Travel and Adventure Show and I have to tell you in terms of the people who are going to exhibit it looks pretty normal. I am so relieved it's the first show that hasn't seen a significantly reduced footprint among exhibitors. However, every single exhibitor I talk to, whether it's at the Travel and Adventure Show or shows that I've come across while I've been on the road, all say the same thing. Attendance at a shows at shows is down and in some cases dramatically down. In one case of an event in Atlanta that I came across that was next to the Travel and Adventure Show, a big medical conference, they said half of their attendees who were registered to attend the show didn't show up. They had paid to attend, they were planning on attending, but at the last minute they decided, I guess, that the risk just wasn't worth it. So attendance at shows, particularly international shows, is way off. And all you have to do, all you have to do is look at business flights right now. Business is just down when it comes to business travel and hotels and airlines are both seeing about a one-third drop in travel. Well, that just shows that that is carrying over into the event space. So, I was talking to a woman who was a cruise, um, cruise travel agent. She sold cruises uh, to, uh, to individuals and to businesses in packaged deals at the Atlanta Travel and Adventure Show. And she said that the cruises have just resumed, but cruise boats are also going out kind of empty. So people, while the cruises have started up again, just aren't booking those trips. Not quite yet. However, if you look at the first quarter of the year, 2022, January, February, March, those bookings are looking very strong. And assuming we don't have another surge like Delta, we should be in pretty good shape for both events getting booked and people actually attending those events. We will see. So that's it for this week. Next week, I'm back in my studio. Please join me as I give you my take on how I see COVID continuing to impact events and what you can expect moving forward in the final quarter of 2021 and beginning 2022. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon.